Good morning to all. You are welcome to the uh, Student Integration Program 2023 again. So, uh, in this fresh morning, we are going to discuss about the Academic Counseling Program of Uvellasa University. So, I am here as the Senior Student Counselor of the University. I am going to uh, explain about how Academic Counseling Program take place. Then, uh, I am going to explain how uh, as the uh, 17th generation of uh, OLS University, the fresh students, how we are going to uh, interact with uh, student counseling, then um, how we can uh, work together in uh, upcoming four years. For that, uh, today I will uh, briefly go through this outline of the, my presentation. So initially I am going to talk about what is academic counseling is all about. Then secondly, uh, why as students you need academic counselling. Then uh, the third point is uh, very important, how you can get academic counselling from the university. And finally, I will introduce all the academic counsellors of the university where uh, in recent future you are going to meet and uh, work together. So let me uh, briefly explain what is uh, academic counselling is all about in particularly in Uvellasa University. So you may have already idea that uh, we are a university, uh, a state university which is uh, always encouraging and always trying to establish learning conducive environment within the university premises and our one of our main objective is to uh, foster teaching learning pro pro process without any hindrance or without any barriers where a student can find that uh, they can easily get on to this uh, learning process then uh, students will find that uh, there is uh, tremendous support from the academic side especially from the academia that's been from the lecturers uh, side they are uh, always supportive to, uh, to start your career here, I mean the uh, learning process, then uh, you, are, you will be going through four years, four academic years, there will be eight semesters. So then throughout eight semesters, you will be uh, going through different, different um, uh, lessons uh, according to your degree program. So then uh, time to time you will find that uh, you need certain amount of guidance from the lecturer's side and also uh, you need support from the lecturers. So for that uh, in Uvellasa University, we have established academic counseling uh, program. Uh, once you uh, get on board uh, as fresh students, so from the very first week, we are starting normally academic counseling. So uh, unfortunately now this time we are meeting online, yeah, integration take place online. Anyhow, don't worry when once you uh, come to the university, uh, you can meet all these academic counsellors and you can take part of academic counselling program. But um, for the time being, uh, we thought of uh, doing and introducing academic counselling program on via this online platform. Anyhow, uh, feel free to, uh, uh, to engage uh, and start this uh, academic program, I mean uh, counselling program. So uh, even though you are staying far away from us, uh, don't hesitate to contact us after this program. Uh, I will introduce all the academic uh, counsellors available for you, uh, each and every faculty. Then uh, feel free to contact those uh, academic counsellors, then you, it will be very much beneficial for you as well as helpful for you. So uh, let me introduce briefly about what is academic counselling. Academic counselling uh, is a process of advising students on the issues that uh, students may face throughout their educational careers. So as I mentioned earlier, now uh, you all are following four year special degrees. Then uh, throughout eight semesters you are going to stay in the university and you are about to start your academic uh, studies here. Right, so uh, there will be different different lectures taking place as well as you will find that different academics are delivering lectures. So uh, time to time you will find, um, sometimes you will find difficulties in following courses, maybe you need guidance because uh, also you will find that sometimes there are optional courses and maybe uh, subject streams you need to select. 
So for, the, for these purposes, in most of the cases, you need guidance and assistance from lecturers from the academia side. That is why academic counselling is all, always there, uh, since it is a process of uh, advising students right, on the issues that student may face throughout their educational career in the university. So, uh, to give you an idea about what sort of issues uh, you are going to uh, face during your academic career here, maybe uh, you may find uh, you may find difficulty in selecting what classes to take and uh, after earning this degree what sort of uh, industry you need to uh, focus and uh, what sort of job you are going to um, secure in the industry. Then uh, if you have an idea about uh, moving into the higher education, the post graduation career, then uh, how you can select a particular stream. And uh, also not only that, uh, maybe uh, in tutoring, uh, when you take practicals, when you go to field visits and when you do research programs, right? Uh, so you need a certain amount of advices and guidance from uh, academics. And, uh, also, uh, apart from the uh, career, I mean the academic activities, maybe uh, to balance your personal life as well as uh, academic activities, maybe you need some kind of support from uh, lecturers, I mean from the academics, right? So, for that also, uh, so I, I will tell you clearly, as lecturers uh, of the university, we are not helping only for the academic activities, but also we go beyond that limitation. I mean, we go extra mile and we, we try to help you in many other occasions, like maybe you need uh, personal uh, counseling to take uh, your, your personal decisions sometimes. And uh, it's, it's true that now we all are in a financial crisis in this country. So you may find difficulties in following courses. You may have some financial uh, obstacles also. So then uh, let's say now uh, to, fi to find out uh, part-time work or maybe if you need certain uh, financial assistance, then uh, if you are looking for a scholarship, uh, likewise, uh, there are many uh, opportunities and uh, many options. Uh, you can find out when you uh, engage with academic counselling, uh, you will get these type of assistance. So let me uh, briefly again uh, tell you what exactly academic counselling is. It is ideally academic counselling is engagement with the students. So from your side, this is the place or this is the uh, process where you can directly contact and meet uh, lecturers here. There are dedicated lecturers for academic counselling. Then uh, now you will find difficulty now uh, in um, meeting them, right? For example, uh, we, we meet you in lecture hall and uh, when we do practicals, when we go out for the field visit and when we do research. But apart from this academic program, you may find that uh, you want to meet lecturers and you need to get their advices and assistance. For that academic program is always designed with this student engagement, right? So in that case, I would like to request from you all, you uh, without any uh, resistance, without any hesitation, without having a second thought, feel free to contact and meet academic counsellors. So then uh, you will find uh, it will be beneficial for you when you find many other uh, issues or matters relevant to academic activities or any other, then please come up with them and please talk to academic counsellors. So uh, engagement should be there throughout your career. So for that, uh, <clears throat> I would like to highlight this point here. In Uvabellas University, we have a mentoring program. In mentoring program, what we do is uh, for each and every student, there will be a dedicated mentor throughout your uh, academic life here. So throughout four years, not only that, after uh, four years even you can get help of that mentor. So uh, there will be a lecturer dedicated to each and every uh, student uh, appointed as the mentor 
for that particular student. So mentoring program is parallelly going on and also there are dedicated lecturers who has appointed as the academic counsellors for each faculty. So then uh, you have many uh, opportunities to get help and assistance and the guidance from lecturers. Right? So it's ideally academic counselling is engagement. Right? So again I, I would like to request please, please feel free to um, meet and talk to these academic counsellors. And uh, from our side it's always about building the uh, rapport, a close rapport with the students. So uh, I would like to tell that uh, in Uvabella Senior City, uh, as academics we always uh, try to maintain a very close and friendly relationship with our students. So uh, it's one point that uh, maybe you already heard that now in our university we maintain an uh, institutional culture called uh, UW family. So as a family we work closely with uh, everyone. So in that case uh, for students we always welcome you and uh, feel free to uh, meet and talk to uh, these academic counsellors. So try and also uh, try to maintain that healthy relationship which will be always uh, important for your academic career. Right? So uh, I would like to share some pictures now uh, how we uh, maintain this relationship within our university premises. So I mean uh, when we have like students uh, on board from the very first day then throughout their career, uh, four years career here and uh, stay here. Then even after the graduation, how we uh, maintain this relationship with students. So for example, uh, in this picture you can find me and also uh, students who, uh, who got graduated from the university. I would like to mention that he is a um, now renowned entrepreneur in this region, I mean in Uva province. And uh, from the very uh, first year he was, uh, he was uh, telling us uh, and he was uh, interacting with us with his business ideas and all. So he did, uh, he, uh, under, he undertook that uh, uh, the, uh, the degree of uh, hospitality and tourism and events management. So uh, I would like to uh, mention that he started his own business as I remember when he was in second year and when we, he was in moving into the third year. So uh, I was his research supervisor and also um, when he started his business I was doing mentoring for his business even. Now he is uh, managing two, three companies together and uh, still working with us. So uh, that's how we maintain and how we develop this relationship. So keep in mind, so not only for four years, even after uh, you uh, move into the industry, so, uh, for example, when you need to find a particular um, job opportunity there, when you want to uh, fly abroad for a higher education opportunity, and uh, especially we always welcome entrepreneurs who is willing to start their own ventures and who who is going to take uh, start their own businesses. Then uh, for all these areas we are going to support and also keep in mind we have uh, specialized academics in all these areas in uh, many ways we can support you. So uh, this is uh, one um, experience I would like to share here. So uh, these students from different different faculties. Uh, so we went uh, uh, we take part in a uh, foreign uh, international uh, cultural festival in India. So uh, with students we went there and uh, I myself went there and, uh, and it was a very uh, nice experience for us. So this is how to give you a, a kind of a idea about how we work together within the university and how we, how we explore opportunities. Always our, our aim is to explore opportunities and uh, take those opportunities for students. Then uh, students as students you, you can take uh, these opportunities and you can mo start moving in your ladder of success. So uh, another part of academic counselling is helping students to fulfil their major requirements. I mean now once you uh, register and when you start your uh, academic activities here. So you may have uh, register here, enroll here for different different degree programs. 
so under each degree program there may be different different major requirements you need to fulfill right you need to pass um, mid semester and end semester examination there will be quizzes viva and other type of assessments uh, lot of presentation you need to do there may be lot of extra curricular and co curricular activities so major requirements are there to obtain the degree a special degree from the university so throughout your four years lecturers and special the academic counselors will guide you will help you and will assist you to fulfill those major requirements then uh, our main uh, target or focus again is to make sure that you finish the degree program here that's mean uh, to assure the graduation in a timely fashion for that to wellness university is an ideal place for you because we are not uh, extending this time i mean the uh, academic calendar in many cases so mostly we adhere to the four year calendar so you will find that once you register in a particular day then after exactly after four years you can easily get the degree and also uh, since this is four uh, four years of study then we always uh, focus on keeping all students until they get the degree or the un until uh, the graduation we we focus and we concern that we uh, to um, to keep and to retain students without any hindrance without any barriers uh, to uh, retain students with us to uh, to uh, offer the degree for the students for that you have that responsibility to start your works but keep in mind all these uh, academic counselors will help you in that regard so uh, uh, ultimately uh, one thing uh, we can promise you is if you start uh, works accordingly then uh, after four years exactly you can uh, you can uh, achieve your dream so i am sharing these pictures of the graduation day and the batch photo day of students how they um, how they feel this achievement and uh, even how the parents uh, feel this one right so uh, this is one one area we take our students to their target then uh, the next point is uh, academic counseling always stimulates exploration outside of the students disciplines right so uh, even though you study uh, management here or export agriculture or animal science or applied sciences or technology there may be many uh, co curricular and extra curricular activities and events so out of your major disciplines you can explore many other activities and uh, many other engagements are available here for example you, you may start um, doing sports here there are more than uh, 20 games playing here in uvellas university and there are many artful activities coming under um, art club of uvellas university and there are numerous and different diverse club and societies uh, you will find that you can get the membership then you can start uh, working with them there will be lot of uh, csr activities and many events taking place so i said that the um, very first day if you remember of your integration your calendar will be uh, very busy once you start academic activities here right so uh, to take part in all these activities and how to balance your work how to balance your academic works as well as other extra curricular works for that also academic counselors uh, will guide and will help you and will assist you and will advise you in uh, to uh, uh, to do all these activities effectively and productively not only that uh, academic counseling always encourage intellectual connection across discipline right so uh, here in uh, uvellas university we have multidisciplinary education we have broad general education there may be uh, there are essential skills development right so there are different different subjects you will find not from your major discipline right so uh, then across those disciplines all ways academics will help you to uh, to develop intellectual connections and also to explore 
uh, novel avenues of knowledge right so uh, that's how our degree programs have uh, developed and how we catered uh, targeting the industrial requirements not only that the international standards where we can produce uh, well rounded and um, students with the uh, highest caliber moving into the uh, next one next point uh, we always helps as students counselors we helps uh, students to set goals and strategies to achieve them during and after the college or the university work right so uh, you may have different different goals right even though you are following a one degree program but still you are you may have your own dreams your targets may be different from one to one so throughout your career and throughout your stay here we will uh, as academic counselors we will help you how to uh, achieve those goals and how to set strategies long term and short term strategies so uh, for example now you may need sometimes you will find that you need assistance or the advice from the lecturers or the academic counselors when you uh, when you follow uh, other professional courses so then you need to find out which professional course will uh, will be the best match for your degree program and uh, how to groom yourself uh, targeting the industry then uh, academic counselors especially they have uh, they have expertise and knowledge uh, about the grooming uh, students to uh, to cater the industry targeting industry requirements so for that uh, not only in the university time but after when you join the industry even we can uh, assist we can advise we can uh, help you to uh, move in your career <clears throat> then uh, academic counseling always prepare students for university study and no employment so i said earlier also so we are not targeting only the academic activities here so we are targeting the industry not only the private sector but also for the public sector and also for the foreign requirements so, so there is a trend these days we see that lot of students fly abroad and they secure job opportunities there but we always highlight entrepreneurship here in our local soil so we always would like to have our entrepreneurs who are starting business ventures here and giving uh, job opportunities for other people right so uh, keep in mind not only for the studies but also to your employment your future um, your future roles i mean i don't know, we don't know exactly where where are you going to end up right so you may start following a degree program here then you will do many other professional courses your targets your goals may be different from one to one so to uh, targeting your according to your goal and your aspiration or your dream then we will help you to find your particular employment even in the industry so i think now you have a clear idea about why you need counseling right so uh, so feel free to start uh, to engage with us with academic counselors so once you um, come uh, to the university premises as uh, not only that when you uh, start your academic activities online so feel free to contact us so now you have a idea that uh, when you need advice when you need assistance regarding academic matters so feel free to contact uh, academic counselors then uh, how to get counseling that should be the problem from your side right now so how you can get counseling so for that uh, we have a system um, now currently we have four faculties for each and every faculty we have dedicated academic counselors appointed by the vice chancellor so i am the uh, senior student counselor that means uh, for the whole university i am working as the senior st student counselor so in in that sense uh, you may contact me uh, directly if you find any uh, any uh, academic related problem then you feel free to contact me i will give my contact details so uh, academic counselors uh, they will help you now uh, i am sharing the, this picture now uh, and the lecturers 
to your research work and also uh, not only that um, as i mentioned earlier uh, when you uh, when you engage in academic activities in in, in many different ways so academic uh, counselors will help you so this is the setup in our university uh, how we have formed and how we have structured ourselves to provide academic counseling for students so we have senior student counsellor, then uh, under senior student counsellor, there are deputy senior student counsellors uh, representing each faculty. Then uh, also there are student counsellors dedicated for departments and uh, for degree programs sometimes. So let me introduce myself again. I am the uh, senior student counsellor of the university. I am Jagat Kulatilekar. So I am attached to Department of Management Sciences working as a senior lecturer as well as I am the director of audiovisual unit of the university. So now this is important. Now I will introduce one by one each faculty, deputy senior students counsellors and student counsellors. So I will start with faculty of animal science and export agriculture. Dr. Prasadi De Silva, you may see her in uh, the photograph. Dr. Prasadi, uh, she is representing uh, department of animal science but she is the <coughs> Deputy Senior Student Counselor for the whole uh, Animal Science and Export Agriculture faculty. So uh, students from this faculty you uh, can directly contact her. So uh, when you find um, any, uh, when you need any assistance or guidance relevant to your, to your academic works. So uh, in that faculty we have two student counselors, Dr. Melni Arachigi and Mr. Charit Dias. So Dr. Melanie, from, uh, she is from uh, Department of Export Agriculture. So students from uh, Export Agriculture, you, you can directly contact her uh, when you need assistance uh, and uh, you, when you need guidance for uh, your academic works. And also uh, Department from uh, Animal Science, uh, Mr. Tarit Dais is uh, readily available as the student counsellor. So uh, he is a pass out graduate from our university, then he knows that this setup really well. So you may feel free to contact uh, Charit sir, uh, especially if you are from uh, Department of Animal Science. So let me take you into the Faculty of uh, Applied Sciences. Then uh, Dr. Sa Titus Kure is the uh, Deputy Senior Student Counselor of the uh, uh, faculty. Uh, then uh, students from uh, Faculty of Applied Science may contact uh, Titus sir, regarding your academic works when you need assistance. Then uh, we have two uh, student counsellors for the faculty, Dr. Milan Rambukpelle and uh, Mr. K. Charit. Dr. Milan Rambukpelle from uh, Science and Technology Department and Mr. K. Charit from uh, Computer Science uh, Department. So students from the, these uh, departments you may contact uh, Milan sir or Charit sir for regarding uh, when you need, when you find that you need uh, academic uh, support from these academic counsellors. Moving into Faculty of Management, uh, we have uh, Venerable uh, Vachisar Tero as the uh, Deputy Senior Student Counsellor of the faculty. Then students uh, from Faculty of Management, you can contact uh, Reverend Tero when you need assistance. And we have uh, Ms. Hirusha Amaravansha as well as Dhananjena Ratna uh, representing Department of Management Science and Department of Tourism Studies. So students from these uh, departments you can directly contact uh, Hirusha Madam or uh, Dhananjaya sir when you need assistance and academic uh, support from the faculty side. So uh, keep in mind uh, both Hirusha and uh, Dhananjay also are pass out students from the uh, uh, OLS University. So they have a better idea about how, how university life in uh, OLS University take place. And lastly uh, from Faculty of Technological Studies, uh, we have Mr. Hasita Sampat uh, from Faculty of Technological Studies. So uh, I would like to mention here uh, Hasitha is uh, uh, not here right now, very recently he uh, uh, moved for his uh, higher studies, so he is on study leave. So uh, quickly we will uh, let you know who will be appointed next as the uh, Deputy Senior Students Counselor for the Faculty of uh, Technological Studies. 
but still we have Mr. Rahiru, Rahiru sir is there from uh, representing uh, uh, faculty of technological studies. So students from uh, technological studies you can contact Rahiru sir when you need uh, academic support from the faculty side. So that is all uh, from uh, our side now uh, I will share actually uh, I would like to uh, there will be uh, ways I will uh, inform you how we can interact with each other since we are meeting online. So uh, let us say we can keep email communication or maybe uh, we can uh, discuss in a WhatsApp group if we can form together. So then uh, we will find a way uh, how you can uh, start in, uh, interacting with student counsellors. So uh, we will set up a platform for that one, email communication is already there I know. So uh, then uh, for the easiness and uh, uh, we will have a WhatsApp group also, then I will share uh, contact details and the email addresses of all these uh, academic counsellors where you will find uh, easy to contact. Uh, relevant lecturers or the academic counsellors uh, for when you find assistance. Okay, now I hope that uh, from my presentation now you have a better idea or clear idea about what is academic counselling is all about. So what is really important is uh, you need to keep in mind, first thing is do not feel hesitate to contact us, right. We, uh, we will share uh, well, since uh, even the academic counsellors are busy with some other works, right? You know that now still lectures are going on in the university, and there will be examination. We are moving into an examination period. So uh, then uh, I'll I'll try to share with you uh, the free time where you can find a free time to contact academic counsellors. For exactly there will be some dedicated time. Uh, normally when you present physically we share a dedicated time for students but on this case uh, since uh, now we are we are interacting online I will uh, get a dedicated time for you from each and every academic counsellor so where you find uh, without any difficulty where you can contact them right. So uh, very soon I will share their all contact details so via whatsapp or email communication I will send them. So with that note, I am going to wind up uh, today's session uh, which was uh, based on academic counselling of the OLS University. So hope you have a better idea and a clear idea about academic counselling. So keep in mind this is all about uh, uh, to getting the right support and right advice and the um, right guidance throughout your uh, academic career here in o Uvella University. So feel free to contact us when you need assistance. So uh, then uh, without any resistance uh, we feel that uh, you can start your academic works here. So with that note I will conclude today's session. So uh, until we meet again have a wonderful have a pleasant time ahead. Thank you very much.